Biden to end U.S. support for Saudi-led offensive in Yemen. Here's a summary of the article. Saudi Arabia has been conciliatory in its response to rebuffs from Biden, who as a candidate blasted the kingdom's current rulers for rights abuses and as president has made clear he intends to distance his administration from Saudi leaders. The Biden administration also says it will help the kingdom boost its defenses against outside attacks, as part of maintaining key security, counterterrorism and military ties with Saudi Arabia, a strategic partner and global oil giant. Saudi state media focused on that part of Biden's announcements Thursday. We welcome President Biden's stated commitment to work with friends and allies to resolve conflicts and deal with attacks from Iran and its proxies in the region, Saudi Prince Khalid bin Salman, a son of King Salman and the kingdom's deputy defense minister, tweeted. Decades of Yemeni misgovernment have worsened factional divisions and halted development, and years of conflict have now drawn in increasing intervention by Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and Iran. The Obama administration in 2015 gave its approval to Saudi Arabia leading a cross-border air campaign targeting Yemen's Houthi rebels, who were seizing ever more territory, including Sana'a. The administration already has said it was pausing some of the billions of dollars in arms deals with Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia's main partner in its Yemeni offensive. The week's old Biden administration has made clear that shifting its stance toward the Yemen war, and toward Saudi Arabia over the Yemen offensive and other rights abuses, was a priority. This post received a score of 27,000, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. We're still selling them weapons. Despite the literally meaningless ban on relevant arms sales, this should be higher. Compare this to Trump, who vetoed a bill that would have ended U.S. support for the Saudi Arabia-led coalition in Yemen. Why does Trump like Saudi Arabia so much? Because Trump has extensive business interests with Saudi Arabia. So what you're saying is that Trump was taking bribes. That makes him smart. Literally the dumbest people on earth. You're just mad you didn't think of it first. Same idiots. Thank you President Biden for your efforts to stop the war in Yemen. I am a Yemeni citizen and I'm happy to hear this today. Glad you're safe Butplum. To be honest, I had to double check his username. I thought you came up with that word and I was impressed in the way you used it lol. But plum does sound like a good endearment used by a cute couple. My wife will be ecstatic. This is one war we should be ashamed to be a part of. One of. Sorry, you're right. This is one of war we should be ashamed to be a part of. Greater than this is one of war we can should be ashamed for to be a part of and. FTFY. So does this mean it is more likely Yemen will split into two countries? The only thing this action will do is make Iran and people who didn't want the U.S. to be further involved in a heavily criticized conflict that has been called out for human rights violations happy and anger our allies in the Saudi coalition. Nothing will change on the ground until one side either loses or gives up. This is accurate. Won't change anything but at least U.S. won't be part of the problem. Hey maybe this guy is not so bad and maybe the last guy was not so good. I may have been mistaken. I'll believe it when I see it. Three presidents have claimed the war in Afghanistan would end during their term. I'll believe it when I see it. I really hope this helps me and all other Yemenis wanting to go back home, even for a small visit. I've seen so many pictures and destruction, I left my country six years ago now and I'm afraid what I'll come back to see. I'm curious. If the U.S. sells high-tech arms does it mean it provides support, training for a given amount of months or years? Most likely yes for new equipments. It depends on the contract. Obligatory fuck the Saudi government. This is awesome. He's heading the right direction. Now Afghanistan as well please. Never forget what Obama did in Yemen, war criminal. If the Nuremberg laws were applied, then every post-war American president would have been hanged. Chomsky. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.